Hello everyone, and this one I'm gonna talking about the new mod that just come out that hope to be improve your performance by using AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution. If you're not familiar with AMD FSR, it's actually the upscaling technique from AMD. They make it to compete with the OSS. That mod, they say that it will work with any game, right? So I. I get it on with Dirt Rally 2 as my test environment. Okay, so let's get started. First, you need to download the mod that I will put in the description below. Go into your Dirt Rally directory. And then you file the file name OpenVR API, yeah. And you need to rename this original file to other name. And we are going to replace it with the one that came in the mod, okay? So within the mod, there is two files. One file that is for conflicting that mod, okay, then, and the other one is just uh, replace your OpenVR and you're good to go. Since this mod is very really new, so this one problem with the mod is that when you install the mod, it will mess with some gamma in the game that will affect your brightness, so the game will get darker. And at the time I record all this footage, I don't know that I can easily fix it by just increase my gamma. So sorry for the comparison footage that uh, may actually darker than my actual gameplay. So yeah. And for the system that I will use for today, I'm using my laptop Asus Strix Scar, which is a top of the line laptop that I can find right now in my country. So it came with Ryzen 7 and a RTX 3080 laptop, 8GB of VRAM, 32GB of RAM. I think that should be enough to play most of the VR game that I will be playing in this channel. And of course, HP Reverb G2. And here's the game setting that I, I use in my The Rally. You can see that I set everything quite low because because in racing game I just want to hit 90 FPS all the time. It's not much, but it's on its work. And as you can see before in the config file, that uh, the render resolution is 0 0.75, so they render only 75% of all the Steam VR settings that you have. Like if you set your render resolution in Steam VR at 40%, this mod will actually render 75% of them, which is a uh, 30%. Steam VR. So basically, performance between mod at 40% Steam VR should be the same as no mod at 30% Steam VR. Let's see the result about the performance. And for the most unbiased performance on laptop, I use my phone camera just to capture the performance graph. Because before I use my phone, I used OBS to capture my footage, and it actually interferes a lot with CPU usage and the frame drop. So I need to work around that issue. Okay, so usually I play my Dirt Rally at resolution of 30% Steam VR. So the equivalent performance of the mod should be 40%, 75%. Yeah, you, you get the idea. So this is what I got for my testing. For this should be the same performance. And let's see what is the picture quality difference between all these settings. Note that this mod is not representative of uh, the real FSR that will be implemented in the game. So do not use this mod to compare with the real Fidelity FX that AMD will release. Okay? I think from my initial guess uh, that I said the performance will be the same and uh, it's actually almost the same. So I think that's my conclusion, the performance will be the same, okay? So let's see what is next in the picture quality. I don't want to say what is clearer within this clip, so I think you can judge it yourself. But what I can say is that when you install the mod, I think there is some pixel that will flash all the time. It just Really annoying, so I don't really like that.
And let's see about the clarity comparison. You can judge it yourself, but I don't think the mod really improved anything. I would rather run it without mod and uh, don't have to deal with those flashing pixels. That would be my go-to. But I need to remark this is only li limited to the Rally 2.0 that I test here and it's not using Unreal Engine, it's not using uh, Unity Engine. So I don't know how it will perform in other games, but from my time and my effort, I think the Rally is the only game that I can make uh, the comparison for you guys now. So of course, thanks for watching and uh, if you found this video helpful, you can hit the like button. And I know that there is a lot of things that I can improve from this clip, so I'm sorry about that. And if you like this clip, you can visit uh, my other video about uh, HP Reverb that I'm using here and uh, my first impression on the Deca move. So thank you and see you guys next time. I think it's gonna be a long time before I post another video. Okay, so bye.